In this demonstration, we'll walk you through the process of configuring an MXW system using the Microflex wireless software and creating a group. Group configuration is required in order for the system to function, and the components must be linked together to create the audio flow. Assuming you have already initialized the devices, we'll start in the Configuration tab of the MXW software. When forming a group, the APT opened from the Devices list is the default APT for Group 1. In the next step, the desired networked charging station is selected from the drop-down menu. This selection is available in two columns, since an 8-channel APT, when used with only gooseneck transmitters, will require two 8-channel charging stations with four gooseneck transmitters fully occupying each charging station. Next is the optional selection of output devices, such as an MXW Annie. For alternate output or mixing devices such as the P300 audio conferencing processor, Dante controller software is required to route audio channels. The successful association of an access point with an output device is reflected through a message that the respective microphone channels have been routed to the analog output channels of the output device. To double-check that the intended device has been associated with the group, the user can press the related ID button, and the respective hardware device will start to blink its LEDs. This is helpful in large setups with multiple APTs and rows of chargers in one room. After inserting microphone transmitters into the charger slots, following your intended arrangement, the link button allows you to assign these transmitters to the respective channel strips in the monitor view. In the same way, you can do this assignment via the physical link button on the charger. Per each APT channel, one primary and one secondary transmitter can be assigned. With this you can, for example, provide a choice between transmitter types or provide a spare microphone transmitter. It is important to keep in mind that only one microphone will operate on the channel at any given time, blocking the second microphone from interfering with the RF and audio performance. For long events, you could also prepare fully charged backup microphones or use a secondary microphone temporarily without unlinking the primary microphone for that channel. The linking of microphone transmitters with the respective channels on the APT is shown in a results overview. By default, microphones link to the primary slot. In order to link the secondary microphone to a channel, select the secondary slot and click Link. Place the microphone in the correct charging slot as indicated in the software. Click Link. The charger LEDs will flash and you'll get a confirmation pop-up when the link is successful. You can leave the microphone in the charger until you need it for your meeting. The backup microphone briefly flashes the LED to indicate the channel is occupied and automatically turns off to conserve the battery. To use the secondary microphone, simply turn off the primary microphone and place it back into the charger. This mutes the signal of the primary and opens the channel for the secondary microphone. 